Chamber get far to last. You're very welcome back. Now, fairies and strange happenings are still a huge part of Irish folklore. And we've wanted to find out more about this mysterious bridge in Wexford. So we sent Brenda Donoghue to meet folklorist Michael Fortune to find out more. This is Balnish Gock Bridge near Kilmuckridge in County Wexford, otherwise known as the Quare Bridge. It is the bridge that John and Ned spoke about in their famous viral video now where they saw fairies and banshees, etc. I'm just going to go and meet the man who made that video. So we're here at the bridge, right? And John and Ned went viral. Tell me how you came upon them. Um, I was by a complete accident. Normally the work I would do would be in a lot of daycare centres and in nursing homes. And, and I was down visiting two boys when they were getting a photograph. And I went to start talking about the stuff and Ned was kind of nodding and kind of taking it all in and uh, helping draw him out. But kind of, even though Ned would kind of take a distance from it, but I know he kind of believes it himself as well, you know. Yeah. What I really loved about it was, or, it was ordinary people that you'd never see the stuff in a, in, a, in a gallery or a film festival or whatever, but it was lovely that you could actually get it into, into people's pockets, you know. How are you? Lovely to meet you. Come here, you've gone viral. Oh, is that so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what do you do yourself? I'm a captain, a joiner. Yeah. And I make an odd coffin and a few things like that. I always make it free of charge. Do you? Why do you do that? It would be a tradition I had, you know? Yeah. So if you get sick and happen to die, a timber so I can supply. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the banshee here? No, I didn't see her, but uh, it was an old lad out lamping rabbits one night. And how did you describe the banshee he saw at this bridge here? <laughs> well, she was dressed up in, in black clothes and long hair. And she had a, she had a lot of diamonds and sapphires on her. Have you written a poem about this bridge? There's a poem about this bridge, about the banshee, yeah. You wouldn't mind sharing it with us, would I'm you? Sure Your poem I'm about the banshee. I'll read the there, yeah. yeah. What's it called? The Banshee of Ballastock, this is called. She has often sat on the old stone bridge, combing her long dark hair, thinking of who on this earthly place that she would soon cast her deadly snare on. Tell me about your belief about the existence of fairies. Is that a strong belief you have? I uh, would, yeah. And what do you see when you think of fairies? Well, up to about 36 inches in, in height. Well, the Welsh fairies now and Scottish fairies and all them fairies, them was only 24 inches. Well, they'd have green jackets on them and they'd have a... Well, they have a white trousers on them, and then they'd have black brogue with a silver buckle on the instep of it. If I said to you, I have a thousand euro cash in my pocket here, would you spend the night on your own in this bridge? Yes, I wouldn't look at it, no. Because? Well, yes, you wouldn't have land on you here. Fairies, they could take you away or anything. What about the lotto? Here you go. No, if you no. the lotto, I wouldn't stay here. Right. And even if you had the lovely blonde, I still wouldn't stay here. <laughs> Ned, this field here, Hell's Kitchen, just up from the bridge. Or you've heard stories. Yeah, and Brian Mammon from Tublamino just up the road, he was coming home from the Muckridge. And he spotted the fairies hurling in the field here. Two different clans of fairies, all dressed the same, but they had different sashes on them mm. to identify the two teams. They were hurling ball landed beside them in the wood. Yeah. And he went to pick up the ball, and because there was no ball there, and when he looked up, the fairies were gone. Of course, it's well within their capabilities to do that. But when you hear a story like that, do you kind of go, well, that can't be true, or what do you think? There's always a slight element of truth in here, say, you know? That's the rest of the way all these stories was handed down from one generation to another. Mm. Well, of course, they might have been embellished on the way along the line, but that didn't do them any harm. Michael, Wexford's awash with folklore and myths, as is every other county. For me, it's not about whether I believe the stuff or not. It's more about, I suppose, how people connected to the place in which they lived and how they were kind of, that they were knitted into the, into the fields, into the ditches and into the roads and where they lived and how they connected to that place. Would it be an ambition of yours to actually see some of these fairies? I know, down and down before I die, I will see one. And what would that mean to you? It would be the proof of the pudding. Yeah. I think we're all the way with the fairies. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are a few fairies around here. Now, we're not too sure if it was the fairies that were messing with Brenda's head, but uh, she kind of got a bit excited. Did she get excited? She got a fit of the giggles, yeah, I think. Yeah, she got a yeah. bit giddy. Have a look. 
I think the fairies are playing a bit of a joke with us as well. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Do you think that there are more fairies in Wexford? <laughs> Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> What's going on here? Mate? They're not getting to this, are you? <laughs> I think the fairies are... <laughs> the word fairy is a loaded word, Ned. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're just after this, Ned. <laughs> And she's still laughing. <laughs> she's still laughing. No, no, no. We're not, uh, I think the fairies had a lot to do. Oh. They were working hard that day, right? They because the our cameraman, Jonathan, got a puncture oh. on the bridge on his way home. Oh. And do you know what? The wind blew the folklorist trailer into his car and damaged it. So maybe there really is something yes. about that bridge. And we, shouldn't, we shouldn't be mocking the fairies, oh. who we love so much. You know.